this map. Okay, yes, here we go. Okay. Oh, yes, now I can. Cinematic. Uh, you guys would know you're about right here. You see that circle? Okay. Gotcha. So, but you're, you're about right there. Just okay. so you know. Uh, what do you guys want to do? What do you guys decide to do? I think I know the impact would uh, agree that if this is the guy who's supposedly going to pay us, go look for him. Okay. Uh, what are you going to do with that cart? I will Maybe try somewhere and... where they can, like, munch on grass. Yeah, I'll um... try and put them in the kind of cleared more area away from the road. Okay. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll assume that you take the next little bit to kind of lead the animals and the cart kind of carefully um, off, off road uh, and secure the animals. I will say, as you guys begin to kind of head, this trail is obvious, but it also looks like. I mean, it's it's not a well-worn trail, but it's well-worn enough that you can follow it pretty easily as it heads to the northwest, away from Tribor Trail, um, and it kind of leads through mostly kind of grassy plains. There's hills now and then. There's sort of there's there's like patches of trees now and then. Okay. Uh, after I'll say. Um, following this trail to the northwest, um, after another like, hour or so, um, following the goblin's trail, you come across a large, what, what, you, you come across what looks like an entrance to a cave in a hillside five miles from where you guys started out, where the ambush happened, um, let me just move you guys there. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. Okay. You guys see that now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, you come across uh, a hillside and up above, uh, and stay put, if you will, for a second. Oh. Just stay put. Um Sorry about that. You guys see, uh, no worries. About, yeah, 30 feet ahead of you, um, uh, you see um, in this hillside uh, what looks like an entrance to a cave. It's, the entrance is dark. Uh, a shallow stream flows out of the cave mouth, uh, which is screened on one side, on the right side, the east side, by dense briar thickets. Uh, a narrow, dry path leads into the cave on the right side, right hand side of the of the stream. Um, it's not a terribly deep or fast moving stream. It's probably about five feet wide, maybe a, a couple feet deep, and you kind of hear like the the sound of um, like the water movement uh, as the stream kind of rushes rushes by. Um, looks like this is where the trail leads, boys. Yeah, um, I was gonna add, uh, so I added, otherwise this map would be completely dark for Gorza. Um, uh, Gorza, what, Gorza, what are you seeing? Because I had to make an adjustment for your token. Um, I can see, uh, like, towards the end of the river, and then just some bushes. Okay. Uh, I can actually see what you're seeing if I click on control. Yeah, that's pretty oh, cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so uh, I did that because otherwise this map would be completely dark for Gorza. Uh, Gorza is the only member of the party that doesn't have dark vision. Ooh. So um, if, if and when you guys proceed into places that are dark, uh, you'll have to indicate what you're doing for Gorza, and I will adjust his token accordingly, if that makes sense. Okay. So. Yeah. Um, do <clears throat> you guys want me to move up and check this out, or do we want to move together on this? Eopek will say, you seem pretty stealthy. I do what I can. 
probably be safe if we start cautiously. I don't think my singing will help here, so you can uh, you can take this. I'll uh, be right behind you. I'll be like okay. way behind you, but I'll be there. <laughs> Give, give, give me a little bit of both there, Diapek, uh, uh, just in case. But uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll move up and uh, just kind of I want to get. Are you going by yourself? Uh, Diapek's gonna be behind me, maybe 10, 15 feet. I'll be um, 15 feet behind you with a smile and a javelin. But uh, I'd like to try to stealth up just to the mouth of the cave to get a look in. Okay. Right before he leaves, uh, I just touch his shoulder real quick. How are you doing, uh, Guidance? Be careful. Asking Guidance. <laughs> yes! Alright. On who? On Dust. On Dust. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, I could probably... Uh... Who is uh... that? Uh... Mithor. Mithor? Yeah, I'm going to, uh... You don't have guidance, do you? No, I'm not giving him guidance. I was going to give him something else just in case there's something big, in there. A big but, fat kiss? Uh, yeah. <laughs> give me your there's cheek, brother. <laughs> no, you go ahead. It, 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 what I was going to do doesn't make sense unless there's actually something in there, so... Then I will, uh... Try to stealth forward. All right. Um, all right. So yeah, uh, Dust, go ahead and make a stealth check for me, uh, plus a D4. Um, and Diapek, uh, you're gonna. Oh, yeah. I'll add that D4 for sure. Yeah, add that D4. Oosh. That was a little better. It helped. Yeah, a little better. Uh, hold on a second. Let me. Um, okay, um, is, uh, okay, so you're going to move forward to the entrance, uh, is Diapek, um, are you following behind, or? I'm following behind, doing? about 15 feet. Uh, um, so you just moved into bushes. Yeah, I'm kind of watching. Do that? Dust? Moving? But, um, I thought I wouldn't let you move into bushes. It wouldn't. It stopped letting me move uh, right where I was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so Spencer C. Yeah, that's yeah. So uh, go ahead and turn turn Advantage it back off. to normal instead of. But yeah, I'll, 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 I'll I'll take the first roll. So yeah, yeah. Okay. Go ahead. He is stealthier than I am. Only because <laughs> of the roll. <laughs> so what do I want to be like right here? If you're yeah, there, um, then I will be right here. And as you... I'm just moving my token around, and it's changing what I can see, and that's so sick. It yeah, is this sick. is pretty badass, not gonna lie. Yeah. As uh, you do that dust... I'm about um, to get As some. you kind of, like, stealthily move along the bank of the stream, I believe you can see uh, to the right, behind those thickets, yep. appear to be... a couple goblins that do not appear to have noticed you. I'm gonna do you, look... Do you see that? I do, yes. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna look back at Diapek and I'm going to hold up two fingers to him. Uh, and then I'll I'm, nod. And then I'm gonna point in the direction that they are. Uh, you can also... Dust with your dark vision, looking into the cave, you can kind of see um, that the stream, the sort of the sound of the water kind of like echoes from the entrance to the cave. Yeah. Uh, it, it's, it's very dark in there. You can kind of see ahead that um, there's a, there is a kind of narrow path that leads uh, kind of up deeper into the cave um, on the right of the stream and you can see as in the immediate entrance of the cave network there's a set of steps that leads into a small room uh, and that's what kind of what you see with your dark vision as you look in so and of course you saw a couple goblins that appear to have not noticed you kind of uh, behind that thicket 
to your southeast. Yeah, so I'll, I'll uh, wave Diapec forward and back up one, uh, one step. Okay. Diapec will take the lead and try to move up to the corner of this. Uh, I will gladly stealth if you want me to. Because uh, I have to I cross the water. I will I will keep that stealth roll and as you turn that corner um the goblins do not appear to be aware of you cuz I just kind of want to set up what do you corner. wish to do Okay DM uh, I have I a quick question sorry sorry no, go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. DM take a look at what I can see real quick Uh huh Would I notice that What's that Uh up in the cave uh, yeah, you would, actually. Yeah, thank you. Um, all right, with your dark vision, um, dust, you can kind of see just barely in that chamber. You kind of, uh, uh, I'll make a perception check for me, actually. Roger. Oh, I'm okay at these. Yeah, you're good at perception, dude. Damn. Holy shit. Oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. Um, All right. Wow. Peer, peering in with a little bit of light coming in through the entrance to this cave, um, you can kind of see, uh, you see like, uh, hold on a second. You see, um, there's, just inside the cave mouth, there's a couple uneven stone steps that lead to this chamber on the east side, the, on the right. Um, and that uh, there is a stalagmite, and you can like just see what looks like chains attached to that stalagmite. You can kind of catch a glimpse. You kind of catch a glimpse of like like an animal of some sort, like attached to a chain that's like attached to that stalagmite so it that seems to be chained to the stalagmite that's right yeah so like you kind of catch, catch a glimpse of like an like a some kind of like furry animal and also with that perception check like you see like more than one chain like attached to that stalagmite uh okay. yeah and they don't seem to like be reacting or <clears throat> notice you yet but yeah uh, and, um, and, uh, yeah, you, um, uh, and, like, Diapak, too, with that stealth roll, like, as you kind of get there on that right side of that stream, you kind of catch a glimpse behind those, uh, those briars, and, and there's a couple goblins sort of, like, kind of, like, shooting the shit, like, just, they're sitting, they're, like, talking, they're, they don't seem to notice you. They they have weapons by them, but they they don't seem to notice you. Well, I am going to look back to the group. I assume I can still see them. The group? Yeah. Yeah. They're uh, pretty close. I'm going to pull out my morning star, and I'm going to smile and point around the corner. <laughs> All right. And just like Dust did, hold up two fingers. And kind of wave them in before what? I, yeah, before I uh, get ready to charge around the corner. Okay. I, I move up to like behind us. Uh, uh hold on. Um, let's see. I uh, um, uh, well, hold on a second. Sorry, guys. Let me just. Basically, the um, effect just wants them to know his intention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let me just check something real quick. Um, uh, Mithor, Mithor, and Gorza, uh, make a stealth check. Oh, you're kind of you also are like advancing. Uh, stealth check. Yeah. 
Mithor and Gorza, because you're sort of like advancing closer to the entrance. I go to 15. All right. And Mithor? Uh, yeah, so nice. they're really good rolls. Uh, uh, from from where you are, Diapek, um, as you see Gorza and Mithor advance, the goblins seem to pay no mind. They seem to not have noticed yet. Well, emboldened by their advance, uh, <laughs> I'm another flash of a smile, and then I'm going around the corner to the nearest one. And I'm All right, do it. Try to smack it with a Morningstar. Okay, all right. As you turn the corner, you see the eyes kind of like light up on this goblin who's like clearly surprised to go ahead and make an attack. And I am not making any noise, no yells, no shouts, just a smile on my face. Yeah. Oh, that'll hit. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm not raging. I apologize. I got to turn that oh, off. Oh, yeah. Turn that off. Yeah. Gotcha. Rage. Eleven. Piercing damage. Holy sh! That's like an you rolled an eight. You yeah. rolled that's max damage. Yeah. Uh. All right. Yeah. So, are you gonna move in range? Oh yes. I'm sorry. All right. I get right up in his face. Absolutely. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> as. Um. Yeah. You. Pretty much. Uh. He like stands up just like at the last second. Surprise that you turn around this corner. And you, with a smile on your face, you slam your morning star into his head. Um, uh, he falls limp and dead, and the other goblin looks fucking, like, terrified behind him. Rest of my movement, right in his face, next. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> uh, and now, now we'll, we'll, we'll roll initiative. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> and, yeah. I, mean, I think this will be pretty short, but... We'll see, you never know. Alright. Oh jeez. Hey <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're missing somebody. Uh we are missing Mithor. Oh. Mithor, roll initiative. <laughs> no. Please? <laughs> hey, I didn't get a one. Wrong way. I still want to see Mithor. Not count? I got a 16. Did you click on, you click on your uh, name? Yeah, you ma make sure that you click. You have your token selected. That's a thing well, in Roll20. Now you get a fucking one. Yeah, I know. That's not not much worse. Oh, you did good. Still higher than me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah, your second. Yeah, uh, <laughs> faster than Gorsa, me. Um, you, it's your go. Um, you kind of like you you, you see Di Diapak like disappear in the corner. Uh, you kind of like, I know you can't. Your character can't see it with roll twenty dynamic lighting, but <laughs> you kind of you kind of like catch just a glimpse of some movement in those thickets. <laughs> I see the um, rush in past the thickets and I hear a big slam. Yeah, you yeah, you do kinda hear this like whack. And you kinda like the thickets are they're uh, they're they're thick enough that it's sort of like hard to see what's going on behind them. Um uh yeah. Can so. I move through them? Uh, yeah, you could. Um, you, uh, they are considered difficult terrain. So, like, if you were to cross the stream and go through the thickets, it would be, like, for, like, right here and here would be, like, half movement, if that makes sense. So, right. okay. Uh, Don't uh, cross you, the streams. You could, like, bust, you could, like, bust through it if you want, but... You would be yeah. able to, like, 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, you'd be able to, like, get behind there if you, like, burst through the thicket. Probably. Um, yeah, I might just move up. Yeah. Let's go in. Okay. Uh, and you don't really see... So you see into the cave, but you don't really see uh, Diapak or the goblin very well. Yeah, I can see, yeah. like, the edge of it. Okay. 
Uh, what do you see? Um, I can see steps in the cave. Yeah, and you kind of like. Yeah, so yeah, so you kind of see what Dust saw earlier. You see steps leading into a small cavern. You see like the stalagmite. You see that this path leads up next to the stream up like the elevation's pretty quickly as it kind of leads up like up up an elevation next to the stream. Um and you just kind of catch a glimpse of um Diapek and this goblin that are currently Engaged in combat. Alright. Um. You didn't do anything else? Good ones. Do I have how many more spaces of? Uh, that's probably like most of your movement, right? Because you. I was there, wasn't I? Uh, I'm not sure where you were. I, I don't know if you have any more movement. I got two squares. Yeah, two squares. Yeah, I'll just do that. Where are you moving? I'll move to here. Oh, you're moving in the cave? Yeah. Oh, shit. Ooh, all right. Uh, I will say, hold on a second. Um, Wasn't there things chained to the ceiling in there? Chained to the floor? Chained to the floor? No, the floor. um... Chained to the stalagmite. I will but say... But I haven't said anything about it, so he doesn't know. Yeah, uh, Gorza, um... Oof. So, it is dark, uh, and I'm letting you see more than maybe you would because you don't have dark vision. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to change your... I'm going to, like, be God here for a second. <laughs> I'm going to restrict your what you can see a little bit. Uh, oh, God. That's more like what you can see. Uh, go ahead and make a make a perception check. There's a little there's a little bit of light coming in through the nine. Through the <laughs> oh, no. nine. Yeah, so you you go into the you go into the cave, and um, you can't see much. Like it's dark, and you don't have dark vision. I like uh, my you, torch. What's that? I like my torch. You, sure, as your action, you're gonna light a torch. All right, you can do that. Does that give me extra vision? Absolutely, yeah. Um, all right, Gorza. Uh, <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah. What you see now a little better, Gorza, is um, Gorza, you can see kind of up. Uh, so first of all, uh, it's cold and damp in here as you light this torch. Um, you can see on the right of the stream, there's the, there's this path that leads up pretty rapidly, like, like a good, looks like 20, 30 feet above to your right. There's these steps. Um, you can kind of spot, uh, like just to the north, like a bridge. You, you see, you yep. see that, Gorza? A, a bridge that crosses above um, and to your immediate right, Gorza, as you light this torch, uh, you see three wolves uh, attached uh, to, with chains to the stalagmite. And as you light, your, as you light this torch, uh, they, um, they begin sort of like, uh, like, like, gnarling and like pulling at their chains uh as they see you they're sort of like they're like uh growling and like pulling at their chains chains toward you and that's what you see yeah cool cool and a turn yeah all right uh that's your go um and none of you know that any of that <laughs> all right is it my turn yep me All right. Yes. Hi. Huh? Talk some mad shit to that goblin. Okay, you move into that little area and you're gonna do, uh, you're gonna mock it. Uh, and how do you mock it viciously? That at first, and the next one is hiding over in the bushes like a bitch. Can't hide from me, boy. <laughs> All right, uh, that's a fail on the save, so it's going to take two points of damage. 
Uh, <laughs> so insulting he, of her. <laughs> yeah, and it will have a disadvantage on its next attack. All right. Uh, anything else, Meathor? No. All right, dust. All right. Um, I am going to use my feline agility. And I am going to move here, if I can, beside this guy. Uh, I believe that's 30 it's feet? It's rough train, though. Wouldn't that 40? have your speed, though? Um, oh, oh yeah. but he can friggin' move like a thousand feet. I can move oh, 60 right. feet, so... Second. So, yeah... I will say, you guys watch. Well, I would have. I will say, dust. I would have. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, just like, if you want to move there, just like dust bursts into this, like, sprint. And, uh, yeah. All fours. All yep. fours. I'm on I'm all fours. Is that how you run when you do that? Yeah, when I'm, when I'm moving like that, I'm on all fours. Yeah, nice. And, uh, I'll attack him with my sword. All right, and you would get an advantage. Advantage? Yes, uh, no ad flanking him. Uh, not flanking because oh, you're not that's right. like, be on the other side. side. But, yeah, but, yeah. but you would get sneak attack. Sneak attack. And he has disadvantage, so. Why do I have uh, disadvantage? Metal, metal, and, oh no! So it it has disadvantage oh, yeah. on his next attack. Yeah. Uh, so that's that's a miss. As you swing your short sword, uh, whew, it just uh, hits air. All right, I'll uh, follow up and try to hit it with a dagger. All right, do it. And that will hit, uh, but it will just be a D4. Yep, D4. Um, so ignore the plus five, I think. So, uh, I, I well, will ignore the plus three, so yeah. So yeah. Four. And right, do I still so, get sneak attack? Uh, no, that's just on no. your first attack. Yeah, that's on your right. first attack. Yeah. Yep. All right, so, uh, yeah, so you swing the short sword, but with your dagger, you, like, it, it, it like, like, strikes into the abdomen of this goblin, and you pull it out, and, like, it, like, snarls at you. Um, it's not dead. It's really hurt. It's really hurt, but it's not dead. Nice. Is it just the one goblin? Uh, that's what, uh, one, well, uh, who is this talking? Midor. Uh, you, where are you? Uh, yeah, you're right there. Yeah, there's just the one goblin. Okay. Uh, okay. uh, Diapak is, like, standing over the body of a dead goblin right now. Oh, yep. okay, because I was, I was, I thought there was two, but then all of a sudden there was just one, and I don't know yeah, where no, it was. Yeah, no, Diapak, <laughs> can't I don't see know, him Diapak, like, Diapak, like, fucked this, that first goblin up, I don't remember. Um, and now it's Diapak's turn. <laughs> I guess what I want to do. I mean, I'll just try to hit the, the guy. Yeah. Morning star in hand. Oh! Oof. Yeah, okay. Oh, <laughs> uh, no, I think that misses. Yeah, yeah maybe. no, that's actually gonna miss. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that stinks. I should have raised. Oh my god. Uh, yeah. I mean, you just like, um, Morningstar. You hit it so hard on the head that you struggle for a moment to like shake your Morningstar spikes out of its head. Um, oh, as it. I, uh, I apply foot to remove said head. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, you, it takes you a second to, like, pull, like, uh, shake off the body, um, 